Yeah, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Ram Maruti Tutorials. Myself Maruti. Now I have come upon with a question which is helpful for you in all the competitive examinations. Of course, it starts from 8th class and it goes on. So the trick part, the foundation has been laid in the 8th class. But the sum is tricky part and it's uh, useful for you wherever you go in every competitive examination. Let me come out uh, with this question now. Right, the difference between two positive integers is 36. Right, here the point is the difference between two positive integers is 36. Right, and the quotient, right, uh, the quotient when one integer is divided by the other, he has taken as 4. Right, he is talking about two concepts. The difference between two positive integers is 36 and the quotient when one integer is divided by the other, he has taken it as 4. So, he is talking about two integers and he has given two clues to us. Right? I have taken a small tricky sum, but I am going to lay foundation for you by which you can go ahead with the many number of sums of this model. Right? The point is, here, let us talk about this concept here. Right? Here, if you check it out, the positive, the, the difference between the keywords what you are able to see here is the first one is difference, right? We should remember few points like the words difference, minus, take away, uh, five years ago, uh, old, right, subtract, all these words we generally, we, we take it as minus sign. We have to set few words. We have to put it out in a separate column there. What are all the words comes under the word difference or the minus. You have to think about that one. That is the first point. And the difference what he said is nothing but 36. Now, the answer what he has given to you, is it a positive integer or a negative integer? We are supposed to think about that one. So the logic behind that one is, the difference is the keyword what we have seen. And if the number is a positive integer, you have to remember this one. If the number is a positive integer, we are sure you have to remember the bigger number minus the smaller number. I repeat, if the difference if he has given in terms of positive, please remember bigger number minus smaller number. In the same way, if the difference if he has given the answer as here we have given it as a positive, but if he gives in terms of negative, maximum you are supposed to think that it is small number minus a big number. In many cases, you come across that. Just a point to be noted, point one. Now, the other point what we are supposed to remember is the quotient when one integer is divided by the other, right? When one integer is divided by the other, he has taken the quotient as four. Now, again start thinking, let's lay foundation for that point also. When the quotient is in terms of a whole number, something like five, six, a whole number, remember, that the numerator should be the bigger one and the denominator should be the smaller one. When the case, if the quotient is a whole number. Now, the same converse of that one, the contra of that one. If the quotient is a decimal, you are supposed to remember the smaller number should be in the numerator and the smaller, uh, the bigger number should be in the denominator. Those are the few logical points what you are supposed to remember in the mind whenever you are reading the question. Now, let us come back to the given question there. All right. What he says, the difference between the two positive integers is 36. Now, we are supposed to take a bigger number. Let us, uh, we have to take a smaller number. So, how many unknowns are there? Two unknowns are there. Now, let the smaller number, let us take the smaller number according to us, let us take it as x. The smaller number, let us take it as x. Now, and, and, the bigger number, right, according to the question, let us take the bigger number as, as we always do, the second variable is 1. Right. Now, let us uh, go according to the question. What he said? What he said? The difference between the two numbers is, how much he said? It's nothing bad. 36. The difference between the difference is 36. This is nothing but what he has given. Now, let us apply the trick. Right. As the number what he has given is positive. Right. Obviously, the bigger number minus smaller number. That is, we are taking it as x minus y equals 36. Logical part. Difference means minus. Is equals. 
the number. Now you set the question in terms of equation one. Right, so we have utilized the first concept of what he has given and we got one equation. Now, let us get back to the second logic what he has given. What is the second logic he has stressed there? The quotient when divided is 4 and let's go for the second trick there. The quotient is, how much he has given? He has given it as 4. Right, that is the point what he has given. The quotient is nothing but 4. Now, basing upon the logic what he said, as the quotient is a whole number, always the bigger number should come on to the top. Here, which is the bigger number? Right, it's nothing but x. And the smaller number is nothing but y. Now, let us go for that one. So, that is, let us take it, x by y equals 4. Right, now if you check it out, how many variables we are having 2? How many equations we have? One. So why can't we eliminate one of the variable here? Why can't we make the question in terms of only x and with only one equal? So for that one, we have a small trick here. So isolate the variable here. Whatever the variable we are having, we are having both x and y. So why can't we isolate the variable y here so that we can substitute in this equation? So if you isolate that, we will be getting as if like, x minus 36 is equal to y, right? So x, right, minus y, I have sent to the other side, that's here, x minus 36 is equal to y. Now, let me substitute the value of y in this equation so that we can start simplifying so that we'll be having only one equation and one variable. So that is x by the place of y, what we are substituting, x minus 36 is equal to 4. Now the topic is very simple. Only one variable and one equation. Let's start solving that. But here the tricky part is whenever we are having numerator and denominator at any cost, in between when we are having is equal to, we are supposed to, what is that? Cross multiply that. So before cross multiplying, only logic what we are supposed to remember is always keep a bracket. Why? Because we like to make the term as one. Now you cross multiply. That is, right, what we are getting? X is equal to 4 into X minus 36. Right. So this is the tricky part what we have. Let us simplify. So X is equal to, we are having it as 4X. And if you multiply 24 and it's well, what we are getting is 144. Right, if you get that one, it's nothing but 144. Let's simplify. So 144 is equal to 4x minus x. If you simplify, 3x 144. Right, now let's simplify. Straight away, you can take the calculations there. It's nothing but if you are getting 3 ones, uh, 3 fours, 3 fours, and 8. So x we are getting it as 48. Okay, now we got the value of x. What's the only thing left over? The only thing left over is nothing but let's substitute, right? Y, x is equal to x is equal to 48 in equation 1. So, what is the equation 1? What we have? We can take this or y. y is equal to x minus 36. y is equal to x we are getting it as 48 minus 36. y is equal to straight away we got 12. Okay, guys, therefore, we got the two numbers. Therefore, the two numbers are, right, we can take it as one as 48 and the other as 12. Now, if you verify that one, for the sake of verification also, what he said, the difference of the two numbers is 36. So let's check it out. 48 minus 12 is 36, means it's verified. So, it's better to verify so that we get confident. Yes, we did good. Now, the topic is very simple, but the logics are very important. The thing, let me revise the logics, right? If the quotient is a whole number, numerator should be the bigger and the denominator should be the smaller one. In the same way, if the quotient is in terms of decimals, the numerator should be the smaller and the denominator should be the bigger one. Hope you remember and let's go for the next video. Thank you and let's go. Thank you.